So there's nothing on my Fisher sets today. I wasn't expecting anything. It's my first check. They've only been soaking for not even a full 24 hours. So I'm getting out of here. I'm heading out to my buddy's property. <clears throat> out there, I'm doing some nuisance trapping for beaver and coyote. I've only got a few body grips out. Need to get some more out, but I also got to find some more sign too. Do have to get footholds out too for coyote. Also targeting coon too. Coyote and beaver are the main focus though. I'm going to get back to the truck and get up to that property. And I'll bring you all back when I'm ready. Alrighty. See you then. Alright, I'm out on my buddy's private land. So I don't think I'm going to have time to get more than one set out, which isn't necessarily a problem, but at the same time... so that's that's the set i just need to bait and lure it now and that's done probably gonna go down a little bit further down on the other side of the uh the bone pit and set another one down on the other end of the field if i can't get them coming i'll get them going the last thing i gotta do is put a flagger out for the landowner because that's what he asked me to do is that all my foothold sets anything on land needs to be flagged they do have multiple dogs so i have to be cognizant of that and i have to respect the landowner's wishes which i have absolutely no problem doing i'm good friends with them but still things that you have to pay attention to and be aware of Y'all literally just watched me put in the same exact set, so you're gonna get a brief synopsis and we're gonna just move on.
it, that's two sets done. Well, that's all she wrote for these two sets. I gotta get back because I got class at noon. So uh, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for joining me. All right, so it's the next day. My Fisher sets were empty. So I'm back out at my buddy's place again and we're out setting more traps. My traps were empty, so you didn't see me check them. Uh, we're gonna get right into it. Here we go. Okay, so I'm headed straight into those pines. Well, not straight into those pines. I can't walk through the field. I have to skirt the edge. But that is where I am headed. So what I've been told about this property is that the coyotes hang out up on that far hill over on that side and then they come down into here too so if you guys don't recognize this in my uh turkey hunting video on memorial day this is the location of the bear scare this is that exact same piece of property and straight up ahead is right where that bear, the first bear I saw was. We're gonna get back further into the woods there. And that will be the other location. Hey, there's some dog sign. That's what I wanted to see. That is exactly what I wanted to see. So I think we're gonna go right there. Looks like it's gonna be... So this is just gonna be a standard dirt hole set. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna save you, cause I want the dirt. You see me grab the chain and give it a quick yank and uh, what that is is setting the earth anchor so when you pound it in it goes straight and then you got to give a yank on it to make it kick out turn sideways to actually bite into the earth and that's what I was doing. Now the fun part comes from setting these number twos. These number twos, I don't know why, but man do they kick my ass <sighs> is what we call a night latched number two you guys have seen me set this trap before i've pulled these were uh i set my dukes out at uh the first location of the year that would be my video with the uh first traps 2022 season that would be these ones And again, what I'm doing here is getting wax dirt down for my base so my trap won't freeze to the ground. Stick that in. 
strap it down. And that is a firmly batted trap. Put in my cover that is way too big, but I'm not trimming it down. Oh, come on. That's what I wanted. There we go. Not a big fan of this wax dirt, I gotta be honest. It's a lot more coarse than I would like. Now, it's not the large chunks that I was getting from the F&T. This is from my local trapper, trap supply. But it's also me just being a little picky. What time is it? 11. I got just over two hours. It should be enough time to get at least one more set in. And I'll quickly remake that other one that got set off by the fucking deer. Bastards. Yeah, I'm going to put another one right here.
So their coyotes are following this edge and I figured that they would be. So I'm gonna go down a bit further because I got two right on top of each other now. I'm gonna have to go back and flag that one. I forgot to do that. <clears throat> but I kind of figured that they would be because I said they came from that edge of that field and went down this way and I assumed that they would just be skirting this, uh, this river's edge here. And after doing a bit of walking, looking for some, some wood and branches, basically all, all unconfirmed exactly what I figured. I mean, the evidence had already pointed that direction anyway. So it was a pretty safe bet. But even still, because this, all these, tracks right here that we're looking at that's all that's all canine this is all canine in fact i bet you that's piss really need to get some fox piss oh i'm putting a oh i want to put a blind set right there Those would be perfect spots for uh, cable restraints if I had good ones, but I do not. I don't even have cable restraints, I have snares. Snares aren't legal on land. Coyote, coyote, this is all coyote, so So I'm all done out there. Uh, camera died while I was finishing up my last set, but you guys have seen me make a million of the dirt holes now. I haven't really changed it up a whole lot just because dirt hole is an easy one. You can put it pretty much anywhere. Anywhere can be a dirt hole, so that's what I did. I'm on my way back to my apartment now because I gotta get changed and ready for class. I'll see y'all later. Have a good one.